Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Man, I had a hard time like setting up this live this morning. Rusty's usually the one that goes in and <laughs> schedules and stuff. And so I don't know. I had like three lives. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope you guys are on the right one. Uh, you know, let people know. Go to the one that has us in the thumbnail. Kim Campbell's in the house. <laughs> she says, I'm here. Good morning. Good Karen morning. Spitzer says, top of the morning all. The cold is back. Yep, 36 degrees right now. I know. It is. Well, I'm burning up right now, but I, I think it was like the stress of, I can't figure this out. <laughs> Trish Keen says, buenos dias, amigos. <laughs> She's working on her Spanish. Oui. And Kim, Kim Campbell says, we're at 40, 70 yesterday. Right? That's yes. us. We were at 74 degrees on Thursday, and we're at 40-something now. Yeah. Yeah, I got cold. Yes. Uh, we were trying to decide what we were going to do today. And then uh, this morning I woke up and I thought, tomorrow is a very important day for a lot of people. Russ and I are not big football fans. We used to throw a Super Bowl party every year when our kids, when our older three were home. Um, hello, everyone. Hi, Heather. Heather Hopper's in the house. But we're just not like our boys grew up and they were the two big football fans and Russ and I've never really been football fans. We used to, I used to watch the Super Bowl for the commercials every year. Um, I still do. I don't even know if we get the channel. Yeah, I don't even know if we get the channel this year or not. We, it's on Peacock Network, but do you have to have this premium subscription? Or, I don't we don't know. have none of that premium stuff. No, <laughs> we pay the very minimum. So anyway, we don't know if we're going to be watching the Super Bowl tomorrow or not. But a lot of people are going to be watching the Super Bowl. So I decided to make two of my favorite um, dips for uh, for like a big party. So I want to do that today and show you guys what they are. So I'm going to make, it's layer dip. I don't like to call it seven layer dip because one, I can never remember all the seven layers that are supposed to be in it. And two, sometimes I like to put more layers in there. I mean... Sometimes I don't like to put as many, many layers. So we're calling it layer dip. <laughs> layer dip. And then um, I'm also making a chicken bacon ranch dip. And uh, I think we may have a bonus dip as well. So um, we'll see how it goes. Because with the layer dip, you guys, it's honestly just a whole bunch of dips layered, right? So mm -hmm. honestly, when you stop and think about it, but not Madonna, Madonna Bristow's in the house. Hi, good morning, Rachel Rusty and Desi. Good James morning. Hall is in the house. Lori Larkin is in the house. Hey. Yeah, Ruby yeah. McGilbert says, supposed to be upper 50s today and 52 tomorrow with rain. It was 74 yesterday. Wow. Yes. Robin Anderson is in the house. Hello from Riverside, California. I'm going to go ahead and get started on cooking. I did go ahead and uh, dice up some onions, so in that way you guys didn't have to see me cry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this while Rusty's going through who everybody that's here. So. Christy Betts is in the house. Uh, if you get motion sickness, I am turning you now. <laughs> Uh, Alice Chalk, Oliveris Chalk is in the house, 34 in Wichita. Good morning. Kim Campbell says it's on regular channels tomorrow. Oh, nice. Okay. Philip W. Ryder says, what's up, Belly Acres? All right. So I've got my, I did do some prep work, you guys, um, before, but, uh, we'll kind of catch you up. I just didn't want this to end up being like a really long live. Melinda Roberts in the house. Good morning, Robertsons. Brenda Hall says, hello, everyone. Hope to see everyone. Ev everyone is doing well. Brenda Hall is in the house. Welcome, you guys. So I'm going to do um, half of a stick of butter uh, because we're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm still fighting this cough thing, whatever it is that's going around. I'm doing a lot better, but... Whew. Those frogs, they sneak up. So um, I'm going to start with the meat for the seven layer, the layer dip. Um, I used to make, what, is, what does it say? I used to make a layer dip. I used to, uh, James Hall says, I used to make a layer dip for holidays as well, as special, special events like Super Bowl. James Hall is in the hose. Itsy yes, Bitsy Dreamstead and Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. are in the hose. Yay, you guys. K62 welcome, welcome. is in the house. Christy Betts says, I need to be outside taking care of things, but it's pouring rain. Aww. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Shiloh Akers is in the house. Says, good morning, everyone. All right. Let's see. 
So I got my butter melting. I'm going to put some diced onions in there. And we're going to get those to frying up. And we want to get those uh, translucent. Uh, let's see. Mike Birch is in the hose. He says, what is this Super Bowl you speak of? Bye -bye. Right, right. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel since my boys are up. <laughs> Um, I'm going to turn you guys. Sorry, I should have warned you. Um, one of these days I'm going to have a fancy kitchen with all these, uh, these cameras just set up and kind of like, uh, uh, Troy and, uh, Eli have going on over there. They just switch that. Yeah, we're going to do that one day. <laughs> yes. Right now we have our garage sale tripod. With a we hair tie holding. have a hair on. tie holding my <laughs> cell phone on there. We're going to make this work though. Okay. So, I learned a trick from my brother. The Joe said, oh, <laughs> crash, bang, boom. Uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. said, Hope Hovita Navarro is okay. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know where she's at. Uh, I'll, I probably need to text her here in just a little bit. I'll text her after the live if she doesn't come in for sure. Yes. So, my brother, uh, Jimmy, did show me a trick. When he makes his layer dip, he always puts sausage and hamburger, and that is so good. So I'm going to do that as well. I have some Italian sausage in there that I think would probably re be really good too. But, um, you know, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do breakfast sausage. I think he usually uses breakfast sausage. I'm a duct tape person. Yes, duct tape works too. But duct tape, well then you'd have to replace the tape every time you, so hair tie works. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, duct tape and bailing wire. Um, I'm going to let that bailing wire duct tape and the beer can don't fix it. Time to get a new one. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right. So, um, I guess what I can do while that is frying up, I can go ahead and start making some of the other dips. Philip Ryder says, oh, go Chiefs. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you mean Taylor Swift? Go Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> there's a big thing. That poor girl. Vicki Hyde is in the house. I'm sure she doesn't want all of that attention, but whew, that's just crazy. Trish Keen says, hair ties have many varied uses. Yes. Yes, they do. They do. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Kitchen aids are that so... That thing weighs as much as you do. Not quite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those things are so heavy. All right. Let's switch out our KitchenAid for our Ninja here. So while that um, is getting ready, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a avocado salsa to go on the layer dip. James Hall says, well, I'd help with a new one, but no super chat. We don't have super chats on this channel, apparently. Sorry. That's okay. I, I don't, I, I'm not the techie side of it. I just, Rusty's the one that sets up all of that stuff and I have not even, I it. just got to get on Amazon and order one one of these days. Um, tell that husband to put a hat on. He is blinding with the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so normally I would make a guac to go on the layer dip, but I am, I looked in the refrigerator and I only have one avocado left. So we're going to make that work. We're going to make an avocado salsa, which is so incredibly delicious and yummy. There's Hovita. There welcome, she welcome. is, Hovita. Hovita Navarro's in the house. We were all getting worried, ma'am. <gasps> I was going to have to text you. You know what? I'm going to have to turn you guys so that we can look at this. I turned away for two seconds. And Philip, I do have a hat, but it's a little bit too large to be wearing in the house. And my onions started <laughs> to burn. So, they're not burning. They're caramelizing. Johnston Hills is in the house. Hi, Michelle. She said, hi. <laughs> hi. She's driving, that's why. <laughs> well, Homer just needs to take over the texting part of it. <laughs> Do Maybe you not. want Homer to take over the texting part of it? <laughs> um. <laughs> Vicki Heights says, go 49ers. All right. I, that's so cool. Uh, my sister is a huge 49ers fan. And Rusty's parents and one of his brothers and his sister are huge Chiefs fans. So, <laughs> as Rusty would say, we don't have a dog in this fight, so we're we're okay. Sorry, you guys. Do I have y'all crooked? Y'all are kind of crooked. Christy Betts says, bald heads are in. Half the guys at church do bald heads now. 
Jean is in the house. She says, good morning, giggle people. Giggle people. Okay. I'm going to ask, I'm going to go ahead. And I know some people are say you shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. We're eating it. So it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my sausage in here. You shouldn't, you know, cook two different kinds at the same time, but mm, I'm going to do it. Jane Hall says, no, Rusty, no sombreros. <laughs> no sombreros. It's not quite a sombrero, but uh, it's a big hat. So that hamburger that I am using is from uh, a neighbor and uh, his ranch, and he sold us some of his beef. So it's really cool that we, uh, you know, we kind of have this pork production that's, uh, we're fixing a startup, our, our uh, pig farm, and we have a neighbor that's uh, raises cattle. So, hey, you know, it's all about being neighborly, right? Kathleen Sasser's in the house. Trish says, man, my family are cheese fans. Me, I don't care. Not a sports fan. Right. And Kathleen says, good morning from West Virginia. Well, my first husband was uh, all sports fan, so we didn't have seasons like summer, winter, fall. We had seasons like football, basketball, ball, you know, that's what our seasons were. And, and we watched sports all the time. And I just was never really that into it. And so, but then we really got into it for the boys because they were huge fans. Um, but now we're just kind of, you know. Yeah. Miss Christy Betts says, I've cooked sausage and hamburger together before. Yeah, absolutely. Hobie, There's nothing wrong with it. That's right. Hobie, so I'm, a, Chris, I'm a Cowboys fan, but this year I don't care. I thought loud. Yeah, we, us. we don't care. Okay. <laughs> Kathleen says 49ers for the win. Pay close attention here. This is the uh, taco seasoning. Okay. Uh, again, no measurements, but we'll, we'll all just kind of guesstimate together. Okay. So we're going to go with salt. What? Homer took over the phone. Oh, no. <laughs> he says, last time I rode a pig. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, Philip Ryder. Yeah, <laughs> Philip Ryder says March twenty first to twenty fifth. Hope to be in Tulsa for the Bassmasters Classic. <gasps> nice. That's awesome. That's so cool. Whistle Stop Homestead is in the house. We're gonna do salt and black pepper, and then I'm gonna put some garlic powder in here. I'm not gonna put onion powder normally. I would, but with, since we started it with onions, we're gonna <coughs> just go with those. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Tablespoon. Yeah, that sounds good. Elaine Buchka says, I'm in the house. I'm also going to do about the same amount of cumin. I cook by smell. If I ever lost, lost my sense of smell, we'd be in trouble. Uh, and then about the same amount of chili powder. This is the same stuff that I use in my um, enchiladas, too, when I make enchiladas. James Hall says, I'm a Raiders fan, so beating the Chiefs was a highlight of my year. Mr. Mrs. Walter Job Jr. says, 49er fan since the old days when Rice and Montana were on the team. Yes, that's when they had a good team. Trish says, if I were to root for a team, it would be the Cowboys, but still not a fan of any sports. So, I was a Cowboy, I'm a Cowboys fan by default. Like my family, well, I can't say my family. My sister's always been a 49ers fan. But like my brothers and all, they were always Cowboys fans. And then my ex-husband was Cowboys fan. And then my two sons are Cowboys fans. And so, yeah, Rusty was always Cowboys fan. So I'm Cowboys fan by default. Um, <laughs> you know. I don't, we don't watch a lot of football. I try to read up on what's going on with the Cowboys online. Just so I can kind of keep up with the boys and we have more to talk about than just life. <laughs> than just life, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, as you guys, if you if you know any 20-something year olds, you know if you're asking, hey, how's life? They're going to go, meh. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's but, fine. But we just says, woohoo, cowboys. You got it right, Rachel. <laughs> uh, James Hall says, same ingredients as chili and tacos. Yep, chili, tacos, um enchiladas this is the the tri the tex-mex trifecta you guys is uh cumin chili powder and garlic 
So honestly, you want that Tex-Mex flavor, that's your base. That's what you start with right there is cumin, chili powder, and garlic. Yes. And then, of course, you add on to that onion. Whistle Stop Home says, why would anybody want to root for the Cowboys? Just saying. <laughs> That actually smells really good, and the color looks good, so I think I think we got it, you guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and drain this, because next I'm going to cook the beans in that same pan. Uh, but I want to get that those get that meat out of there. Whew. Yes. Easy for you to say. Vicky I'm Kopatz turning you guys around. Is in the so you can see Rusty. It says, hello from Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, Alice says, when does Mama come back? Missing her smile. Um, it's coming back first part of March. Yes. Uh, Where did my strainer go? Yep. Hovita says, Alice, I believe Mama will be home in March. Yes. Uh, Brenda Hall is in the house. Says, I love watching cooking videos. My problem is I have a lot of food allergies. Tomato, avocado, cheese, sour cream, I cannot have. Oh, oh no. goodness. Hovita said, yes, that's the Tex-Mex trifecta. Yes. Absolutely. I can't find my big strainer, so we're going to go with that little one. <laughs> Trisha, I should know better than to come in hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right? You should be here smelling it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Poor Desi. She came out a while ago. She said, I smell food. And I was like, uh, it's for our live. <laughs> Philip Ryder says, I just learned something about the trifecta of Tex-Mex. Well, good. Glad you learned something. Yay, I'm so glad. Whistle stops is Rusty and Rachel. That house looks so different now since the last time I was here. Since oh. I was the last time I was there. Yes. yes it, it is different. It yep. has come a long way, and you would not recognize the outside for sure. Uh, Jay Granados is in the hose. Says, howdy, y'all. Yum, that looks so good. Sorry I am late. That's all right, Julia. Never late. We'll catch you up. Vicky says, seeing the video you guys did getting started on Mama's house. Yes. So we have another video coming out hopefully today on that house. And we we don't want to spoil it, but you'll, you definitely want to watch it. You definitely video. want to watch it because I think there's going to be huge changes in plans. But on this next video, you guys will actually get to see Mama because uh, we've been video chatting with her but we went ahead and recorded video chatting with her and we told her everybody missed her so you know she wanted to say hi to everybody and so uh you guys will definitely want to see it so you can see her um so here's a little secret i drain i strained that meat i took the meat out but see all these little bits of meat and onions in there you want to leave that in there and and the seasoning you don't want to wash your pan you want to leave this and then Here's the thing, we're gonna make some refried beans, but uh, normally we would make like a, like a pot of beans and make some refried beans, but I did not do that. So I've got some ranch style beans. This is a game changer. Don't, don't buy the cans of refried beans, guys. No. Find the ones with flavor. So the, this one is a ranch style with jalapenos and one without. And there's a lot of jalapenos in there. Um, there we go. James Hall says, cooking now, making breakfast tacos. Ooh, that sounds good. Ed says, Rusty, when you get a chance, take videos of the outside so I can see it. Please, absolutely, Ed. Uh, Jay says, love the Tex-Mex trifecta. 30 years in Texas. 30 years in Texas. So my whole family's from Texas. Um, I grew up in Oklahoma, but <clears throat> everybody is pretty much from Texas. Uh mm -hmm. So my mama cooks a lot of Tex-Mex, so that's what I learned. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. says, I understand, Brenda, different allergies and celiac, sad mix, but become inventive and think outside the box for new ingredients to use. Yes, and if you are allergic to tomatoes, do not eat ranch-style beans. They do have tomatoes in them. Yes. So uh, just an FYI, those do have, I have a, a niece who is allergic to tomatoes and she has to be very, very careful. And it's, it's crazy the things, the amount of things that have tomato in them that you don't think have tomato. <laughs> so I've got a potato masher here and I'm just going to go ahead and mash all of my beans. Now, if I was making homemade ranch, I mean, homemade um, refried beans, I would have put some lard in the bottom of that and uh and then 
added the beans and start mashing them. But uh, this already has plenty of fat in it. So with that. Philip says, where you live, James Hall? <laughs> <laughs> right? James, we're going to do a breakfast, breakfast. Yeah, breakfast raid here. <laughs> oh, Lisa says, Rusty, that basement was creepy. It looked <laughs> straight up from a horror movie. <laughs> you know what? That was the first time that I have been down there. I have never been down there. But um, I think once we get it cleaned up, and which Rusty got a lot cleaned on it, and, and then get, some, get a light down there, I think it'll change it around yes all right once it's all mushed all mushed and pretty now if you guys notice i put the whole can in there i did not drain the can which there's not much to drain you just don't want to lose that flavor because on those ranch style beans you know like i said it has tomato and you know all the stuff in it so all the things so shiloh says laugh out loud that pause was priceless rachel <laughs> <laughs> linda lover says i'm a packer fan Brenda says, I know how to get rid of food allergies. No GMO beef bone broth three times per day. Not Non-GMO beef bone broth three times per day. Can't afford good beef bone. Yeah. Vicky says, one day all are going to show up with a plate. <laughs> right. Y'all come on. Okay, I'm going to turn y'all. Here we go. Loop de loop. Christine says, my Texas home search continues. Oh, man. I hope you find something awesome. You're going to Odessa, right? I mean, we, you know. It, it'll 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 all work out it's yes. gonna work out it says if no one has ever thank had rachel's cooking you do not know what you're missing it's phenomenal ed is so awesome thank you so much ed yep you've had my cooking a few times haven't you yes um let's see shiloh says i've never looked to see if we have ranch style beans up here now i'll have to look for them oh yeah so and i'm gonna do a video on making homemade ranch style beans because my friend michelle uh Johnston Farms, Farms, Johnston Hills, Hills, Hills is in here, and uh, sorry, I didn't remember your channel name. <laughs> <laughs> um, she uh, turned me on to um, canning, pressure canning. So now I want to pressure can everything, and so I got a recipe for ranch style beans, and I want to make our own ranch style beans and just can them, and then I have them here uh, for you know, quick things like this. I don't have to use store-bought. So yes. I'm excited. I'm going to do a video on it. James Hall says, only have issues with raw tomatoes. And that, that makes sense too. I do that. <clears throat> Some people um, have issues like with raw onions and not cooked or cooked onions and not raw. So it's just crazy how allergies work like that. Yes. I, um, I didn't turn you guys around, but I'm just stirring that, um, those beans. Brenda Hall says, I have to read all ingredients on stuff I buy before. Sorry. Buy for sure. Yes. <coughs> James says, tells Philip he's in North Texas. Trish says, when making homemade refried beans, what type of beans do you use? Uh, do you use? Pinto beans is what I use. So um, I make my pinto beans. I have a couple of videos on making pinto beans. I don't know if they were on this channel, but they'll be in the playlist. There's a playlist um that says in the kitchen and that's from robertson's belly acres in the kitchen before we we created a separate channel sorry guys <coughs> and um so just making the refried beans um i don't soak them or anything i just uh go through them pick out the the bad beans or the rocks and then um i rinse them and i put them to cook for about three hours, but at about two hours, I go ahead and add salt. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I go ahead and add salt and I add um, lard, unless I'm cooking them with um, ham hocks. Well, then I put the ham hocks at the beginning. But if I'm not, then I add lard to it, let them cook the rest of the way, and there's your beans. And then, you know, so it's pinto beans. Yes. I'm going to turn you guys around so y'all can see this. Uh. Mr. and Mr. Walter Job Jr. says yes, and sometimes I don't see the one we're allergic to because it's near the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, we just smash the thumbs up, y'all. Thank you, Jovita. When you're refrying beans, so I've turned it down. It's not all the way up on high anymore because you, you don't want it to scorch on the bottom. So I've got it at about a medium, eh, medium low. So it's it's a gas stove, so it's kind of hard to say. It's, a, it's at a four, okay? Yeah. But if you look right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's this crust that's kind of forming at the top see when i kind of move it see kind of it's kind of crusty there you know that it's cooking all the way through this is when you want to go ahead and stir it 
Michelle says, it's okay. We forget the name of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you haven't started a real channel yet, and you need to, Michelle. Y'all, Michelle is amazing. She does um, all of this prep cook, and um, she... Uh, like she does prep cooking, freezer cooking, like meals for the freezer. She does canning. She does all her gardening. She, I mean, it's just amazing. It's pretty yes. awesome. But uh, Jay Granado says, can't wait to see your beautiful mama's face again. Oh my gosh. Love ranch beans with jalapenos. Gallbladder be darned. Oh. I have to have them at, at least with my sausage, egg, cheese, and bean breakfast burritos. <laughs> right. Absolutely, Jay. Hobita says, I love ranch style beans. They were a staple for it. They were a staple for Tex Mex barbecue. All uh, right. Kim See Campbell's in the hose. How thick those are now. We went from just watery beans to some thick refried beans. I'm going to turn those off because those are done. And they're going to set up while they're sitting here. So I'm going to let them sit right here uh, while I make the other stuff to go in that layer dip. Yeah. Kim so. Campbell says, please do a video on pressure canning. I just got one and could use the help. Absolutely. What we might do is we <clears throat> may just have Michelle come over and do a video on pressure canning. Yes. Because she, I'm not experienced enough yet. And she's a phenomenal teacher. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's her profession. It's her profession, <laughs> but she, she takes the time to really yes. explain and very detail-oriented when she's teaching. Yes. So, um... You James know. Hall says, can can a ranch style beans, frijole, refritos, chicken, pre-cooked hamburger meat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Okay, so this is a an avocado salsa recipe. I actually got this off online. I actually got it on TikTok. And you guys are going to laugh whenever I tell you who actually made this popular. And you're probably going to go like, I'm never going to try that. But please try it because it's really good. But um, Cardi B, like, oh, yeah, Cardi B, <laughs> she did a, <laughs> did you <not> hear Desi? <laughs> she said, ow. <laughs> um. <laughs> From the peanut gallery. <laughs> Philip Ryder says, James Hall, that's station... 89 at Shepherd Air Force Base, four months, Wichita Falls. And James oh. says, that's where I live. Wichita Falls, awesome. You know what? My parents used to live in um, Archer City. And so uh, anytime they were like in the hospital or something like that, or just shopping, when we would go down there, we would uh, go to Wichita Falls. And then Rusty and I, when we first, first got together, uh, we were headed down there to go see my parents and Rusty said, let's take the bike. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we were, you know, young we had and dumb. It, we had it like <laughs> two weeks. And so we jumped on that, uh, motorcycle and tried to drive all the way to Wichita Falls. And we were walking like we had rode a million horses. It was, <laughs> it was crazy dumb. We were young, but we weren't that young. You know, we were right there, those 30s where you're, what is it, old enough to know better, but still too too, too dumb, but too young to care. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was crazy. Brenda Hall says, allergies are actually from a thin layer that breaks down and food seeps through. The body's natural reaction is to attack what it thinks is an unnatural substance. Huh. That's good to know. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is, I'm not even telling you guys. Kowita says, avocado anything is delicious. Right? I so agree. I wasn't, so look, here comes Cardi B herself. Ow. <laughs> okay, so um, I used, ooh, I was trying to stir that. Oof. I'm not real big on sour cream. But I like it. I did one whole softened package of cream cheese. And then I'm going to do, I don't know, this is probably like three tablespoons. We're going to do like four tablespoons Put some in there. of uh, sour cream. Really, the sour cream is what's going to make it uh, more... Lazy days ahead Liquidy. with Jesse and Lisa in the hose. Hi, I made guys. It. Hi, hi. 
Okay. Philip says, Rachel is too old to know better, but too young to resist. Laugh out loud. <laughs> you know. Okay. So, this one actually calls for pickled jalapenos. So, not, um, not, fresh. not fresh. And the vinegar, you, you want that vinegar flavor. Oh, I threw that at y'all. Okay. Okay, Rachel, get it together. And it just kind of depends on how spicy you want. These are actually store-bought. I know they're in a jar like they're not, but. So what I did is I ended up buying a gallon jug of pickled jalapenos. And I, it wouldn't fit in my refrigerator. So I put it in these jars. And so now it looks like, oh, look, Rachel has pickled jalapenos. But it's not mine. They're not mine. Okay, put however many you want in there, however spicy you want, which these are not spicy, so I put a lot. A lot. Oh, nice. You know what? So that's kind of one of our things. We want to, you know, start a, um, a herbal, like, medical garden or whatever. <laughs> herbal remedy garden. That's what yes. I wanted to say. Okay. James is going to use a white rock. Sour cream makes it gooder. It makes it gooder. <laughs> okay. Well, says, I love pickled jalapenos. I'm going to go ahead and put onion in here. Like, you don't have to put diced onion when you're putting it. Ooh, I am just messing things up today. When you have um, a blender, it's because I'm trying to watch y'all and I'm trying to watch this and I'm not watching what I'm supposed to be watching. And Vicki Hyde says, well, when you guys do videos like this, because I can get, then I can get new recipes. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, Jay Granado says, laugh out loud, I know the Flying J well in Wichita Falls, Texas, used to fill up there often. Had to have enough fuel after dropping in DFW to get home for 72-hour rest. Reset. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, so you must have been a flight attendant or a pilot. Which was it? A flight attendant. Yeah, she said. No, you... a truck truck driver. That's true, too. Oh. Truck driver. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh. thinking DFW Airport. Oh. And what was it? She didn't say yet. Oh. I heard I heard Flying J's. Yeah. Okay. Truck stop, right? Right. Flying J truck stop. But I was thinking. Okay. 72 hour rest. I was thinking a reset to go back to work, which is a truck driver. So let me catch y'all up before I forget what all I put in here. So I did the jalapenos and then onions, if you want onions. And you can just put like a quarter of an onion in there. And you don't have to dice it up before you put it in there. Because it's going in a blender. Hey, Vicky. Uh, one. I watched you. Okay. Um, what did she say? I watched she I watched your video video. And the video was so good. I made it twice in a row. Yay, that's so <laughs> good. Uh, let's see. One whole avocado. Because this is why I'm doing it. Because I only have one avocado. So I can't really make guac, right? I'm doing four small cloves of garlic. Um, if you like garlic, put more in there. Um, I'm going to do, let's see. Where is my, there it is. <laughs> Jay says, truck driver, LMAO. Yes, drop mail off at airport usually. So we were both right. But <laughs> I, she was at the airport, but she wasn't a pilot or a flight attendant. I'm going to do half of a lime in there. Because we already have the vinegar, right? The lime is just for the flavor. And then if you taste it and you need more lime, add more lime. James Hall says, I prefer Jolly only because it has a larger parking lot and a good restaurant. Jovita says, Rachel is the queen of improvising. Improvise. Yeah. It's called raising kids. But, uh, so good morning, beautiful young lady. Good morning. <clears throat> oh, good morning. Oh, wasn't me. Huh? Hey. <laughs> All right, so a tablespoon of um, chicken bouillon. bouillon. Vicki oh. Hyde says, we have a Flying J bar here in Indianapolis. Oh, wow. Guess it's better than the flying. Never mind. So <laughs> ranch dressing. <laughs> One packet of ranch dressing. All right. Turn your volumes down. Everybody just turn your volume way down. Yeah, turn your volume way down. Mine's already down. Okay, I'm going to count it out. Three, two.
Vicky says we have a okay. Trish King says that's what makes a great cook: being able to improvise <laughs> and make it taste good. Karen Brist is in the house. Hi, Karen. Michelle is in the house. Says I haven't caught up in a long time. Uh, happy Saturday. It's supposed to be seventy degrees in North Carolina today. James says, "Hey, Desi." Hey, James. Uh, Philip says. While I'm in Tulsa, I need to come over to dinner at Robertson's Belly Acres. <laughs> That's right. You just let us know when you're going to be around. Elaine says, good morning. Thank you, Karen. Shiloh says, the one thing I've never done was buy and use. I counted it down. A fresh avocado. <laughs> Family and friends made me. Make me nervous about removing the pit. No, oh, no, don't be nervous about that at all. Uh, Jovita says, Rachel, could you please do a video on tostadas? I want sure. to make them on Wednesday for my cousin David and I. I'm just not 100% confident on Oh, how, but I know how. Yeah, so tostadas, just take a, uh, I mean, I can do a video, but uh, your. The way we make them is we just take our corn tortillas, unless you want flour tortillas, which I prefer flour tortillas fried, but they're not, I mean, none of it's good for you, but whatever. So, what? um, I will use, I'll just take a tortilla and fry it and then make your taco meat. And then you just put your, uh, fried tortilla, rather if it's, um, corn or flour, and then you just stack it on top. I say and growing up, we used the tortilla, refried beans. Yeah, refried beans, meat, all your taco cheese, stuff. All the rest of the taco stuff. Okay. Stuff. All the taco stuff. That taco stuff. So look at this. It's stick and creamy, and I probably should taste it. Let me have a recipe taste it real quick. I'm going to just let you taste it on a spoon. Taste tester. Taste tester. Beans. What does it need? Salt? Mm. No. Everything's clear? Everything's there? It uh, produces more jalapeno. It needs more jalapenos? It's, yeah. It doesn't have any heat? None whatsoever? No. I wash this. Let's see. It's a little salty. What is that missing? Some more jalapenos? Mm -hmm. Let me just put some of the jalapeno juice in it so I don't have to run the thingy again because I already took the thing out of it. Okay. Uh, Vicky says, my dad was a coast-to-coast -coast truck driver. Kovita says, I want some with a tortilla chip. I know. We got some tortilla chips over here, but... Oh. She says, Rusty says, mo hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to have jalapenos in the... This is going in the layered in. Right. I was just thinking for that. Because it still had a, a real cheese, cream cheese flavor to it. And that will kind of... Break that up. Break that up a little bit. Sandy Wilkerson is in the house. Nope, no, no. Heartland I HQ with Dink and Tink is in the house. Okay, so just mix that up. And it's still creamy. And it's still thick. And it's still good. Mm, it and we'll have amazing. Rusty taste that. Let me wash my spoon. I don't want to dirty a whole bunch of spoons. It'll be okay. I'm doing it. No, you're uh, not. Jay says, I just like lying. Fine, Jay. Too many people in a tin can, and I have no control. Two beers in my is my max at any bar, and always had not bar or pew pew very close. Being a woman truck driver, coast to coast. Yes, I understand. Ooh, yeah. Much better. Yeah, is mm -hmm. it for real? Mm-hmm. Is it for real? <laughs> I think so. Uh, can you grab that trash can over there? I'm like, oh, I don't have a trash can yes, over sir. here. Please, Purdy, please. Purdy, please. Okay. And then these go in the compost. Compost. The compost. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start putting this. Well, let me make my pico and then we'll start putting this layer dip together. So that's the plan, man. That's the plan. So pico's pretty. Take over comments for a minute, Desi. Pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Dang, um, 
Philip Ryder says, dang, y'all are making super, hu- y'all are making me super hungry. Oh, super hungry. Okay, so let's see. I need a bolt while well, I got this bolt. This is where I'm going to make my pico, okay? Kavita says, I love pico, especially the, I don't know, clantero? Cilantro? Cilantro. Dang. So, I don't do cilantro because... Uh, Rusty and I don't like cilantro. I like cilantro, but not enough to be like, ooh, cilantro. So, we don't use cilantro. I know, I'm so sorry. Um, some people are like, oh, man, that's what makes the pico. And then some people are like, oh, I'm so glad you don't put that in there. <laughs> Okay, the rest of my diced onions are right here. I've already rinsed all of these um, vegetables. Vegetables. I'm going to do probably four jalapenos in this, which is going to make it pretty spicy. I hope. You know, you never know with what you get from the um, grocery store. But um, <clears throat> Rusty uh, likes it spicy. Plus, we're going to put this in the... Um, layer dip so it's not going to be you're going to have all these other components right so uh you don't want to make it too mild and then you don't even taste it so i'm leaving the um seeds veins all of it leaving it i meant to have everything diced up and chopped up before um Before we ever even. James says, yeah, Hobita, you can stack them up with whatever you want. Absolutely. That's, that's right. Hobita says, I get it, Rachel. Good, good, good. And Vicky says, beautiful hair, Desi. Thanks. And James says, I make my pico both ways depending on who is eating it. Right. Absolutely. Hobita says, James, my cousin David and I are the only family left here in Riviera. We are three years apart and we grew up together. His mother passed away two years ago, and he and I just became very close. Oh, that's so awesome. It's so good to have family, Jovita. Yes. Phillips says, how's Desi doing in school? Um, good. <laughs> she said, good. She's doing good. Uh, yeah. She is uh, in National Honor Society and doing really good with her, her studies, so we're very proud of her. Yes, definitely. <clears throat> The rambling peach is in the house. Hi. Jay says, absolutely, James. I do it both ways, too, depending on who's eating it. Sometimes. Grady is in the house. Hey, welcome. Hey, y'all. What's good? What's cooking? So we've got, um, we're making a couple of dips for Super Bowl Sunday. So right now I'm making some pico. So that's three. Was it three or four, guys? Is it three or four? That's four. How, however many. Was it four? I think. I can tell you. Four. Oh, he looked at the tails. <laughs> there are four. Phillips is wonderful, Desi. Thank you. Jay says, National Honor Society is not easy. Way to go, Desi. Yes. Christy says, good job, Desi. It's all great. He says, oh, yum. So right now I'm making the pico that's going to go in the, the layer dip. Elaine Buchka says, I was in NHS as well. Nice. Really? Fellow NHSer. Uh, Chris Keynes is proud of you, Desi. It's all great. He says, hi, Des. Hi. Lori Larkin says, hey, Denise and Marcel. That's babe and baby. They're in the ooze. Babe and baby cakes. Baby yeah. cakes. <laughs> yeah, babe and baby cakes. Um, let's see. Mike Birch says, hey, hey, it's all Grady. Desi absolutely loves <clears throat> Denise's laugh. Like, she's like, I just so love her laugh. <laughs> Wanda Henry is in the house. It's so cute, isn't it, Desi? It is. He absolutely loves them, Marcel and Denise. Who's Marcel? Yeah, babe. No, babe. Yeah, we love babe. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, babe. We got you, babe. Oh, why didn't my knife go all the way through those? The rambling peach says, Whoop, whoop, you, Desi, you go, girl. You go, girlfriend. I get my knife skills here. I'm not cutting all the way through or something. All right. 
dump these in. I don't know why they, I mean, I know why they call this Pico de Gallo, but I feel like it should be called Mexican flag. Because it's so pretty. It's the red and the green and the white, and it looks like a Mexican flag. So what does Pico de Gallo mean? Literally translated. Literally translated. Pico can mean two things. So pico can mean like that's picoso, like it's hot, like spicy. But pico can also mean when they say tiene el pico chueco, which means the their beak is crooked. When somebody is, if I tell Desi, Desi, go wash the dishes. And she kind of goes mm, like that, her pico chueco. So it's like, don't look at me with your pico chueco, go wash the dishes, right? So notice how that <laughs> notice how that Mexican no, <laughs> came out really quick and easy. But I'm anyway, <laughs> she almost started washing dishes, y'all. <laughs> so, um, but pico can also mean like the beak. So it can mean the beak of the gallo, which is a uh, rooster, or it can mean ooh, that one's got a chunk of mold. or it can mean. Um, Pico como picoso, like hot, uh, spicy, spicy rooster. Yes. And I have made the, my pico several ways. I've put beer in my pico, and I really do like that. But it makes it too soupy for the layer dip, so I'm not going to do that for this one. Yep. It's all great. He says, we love you guys. So proud of you, niece. Oh, they're so proud of you. Oh, thank you. James Hall says, limited space. <laughs> Right? Uh, Jovita says, the beak of a rooster. Yep. Monica is in the house. Good morning. What, what are we fixing to eat? So I'm making some dips for um, Super Bowl. Uh, and right now I'm making the pickle for the, um, the, for the Super Bowl. For the, the seven layer dip. Yep. The uh, Rambling Peach says, thanks so very much for all the shout outs. I have 593 subscribers now. Yay, that's that is so awesome. awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> we just says, how many times did we hear, fix your pico, Rachel? Oh, I know. <laughs> pico Ray, twinkle. Ray Metcalf is in the hose. Ray and Rita got to show up. Uh, hey, Hi, we guys. finally made it. A okay. little late. We're hungry. You're Hello, hungry. Robertson family. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Denise says, oh my gosh, y'all are funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. I got to. I got to get Christy Betts says, on. I need to name a rooster Pico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pico, get down from there. <laughs> Pico, leave them hens alone. Anyone. <laughs> Johnston Hill says, Michelle likes spicy rooster. <laughs> Homer's still typing. <laughs> Homer still has the phone. <laughs> you guys, Homer and Michelle are very dear friends. And oh, I tell you, they those two. crack us up so much. Not saying that we like hanging out with them or anything, but we went to the basketball game last night after the game was over. It was almost midnight before we got home because we, we stayed at the gym visiting and shooting hoops. Shooting hoops <laughs> you know, just hanging out and talking. Yeah, Michelle was being nice, and like we were playing pig, she kept throwing the game for me, so I didn't look like a total loser. <laughs> uh, Karen, Karen Wiley Burns says, hello from Rome, Roma, Queensland, Australia. It's 2.17 a.m. Oh, Sunday morning. wow. That's crazy. That's awesome. It's well, we're making midnight hit, snacks then. It's all great. He says, hit that thumb, thumb, be number one. Get that thumb, B number one. Let's get... Jay Grenache says, that is fantastic. Rambling Peach of 593 subs. God bless, yes. Julia. So I put... The, it's. I know it seems dumb to put pepper in something that has peppers in it, but I do because I like the flavor of black pepper. So salt, pepper, and garlic, and lemon juice. Road trips life and redox is in the this hose. Is so this it's is so way pretty. to go, Desi. Once you Thank start you. stirring it, it's just so pretty. James Hall says, I used to make pico for friends on Taco Tuesday, and they ate just about a whole bowl with tortilla chips. That's the way we are. Oh, yeah. If she'd set this out between the three of us, we'll eat that whole thing today because it's just that good. 
So, and here's, this is preference too. I put lemon in my Pico and this is my theory on that why. Uh, lemon to me says fresh and it tastes fresh. So does lime, but lemon to me is fresh, like the very citrusy. I know that lime is citrus too, but stay with me here. And so Pico to me is fresh because it's all raw, fresh ingredients. And so I put lemon in my Pico and I put lime in my guac. So that's how I differentiate. Yeah. And it's perfectly okay to put either in either. And Vicky says, my two, my two kiddos love when I make chicken tacos. Uh, do you want to grab a chip from over there? So we'll let Desi try this one. Povita says, oh, do you want to try James this one? Pico is so, so Daddy good. Uh, <clears throat> don't worry, I got the chips for you. Right. You want to grab a chip? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Teenagers. Let's see. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> uh, James says, I use lime juice in mine. Yep, Jesus and that's about that. perfectly okay. Dink and Tank could eat everything on a tortilla, absolutely. What am I trying? The Pico. Uh, Miss J. Tell me if it's. Is you, know. you want Dad to try it? Yeah. says, Good morning, y'all. No, I'm Sounds saying, like do you want you Dad to try it instead? Might get some winter weather coming up soon. I yes, didn't know sir. if it's spicy. I'm calling for no, that. Try it. Uh, Kobita says, Mr. and Mrs. Walter Dope Jr., Rachel used pickled jalapenos. I used pickled jalapenos in the um, in the avocado salsa. In the pico, it's fresh, fresh jalapenos. Yes. James says, I can't eat it because of the raw tomatoes. Yep. Ray, Met, Ray, Ray Metcalf says, hello, Desi. Do you like to cook? <laughs> Do you like to cook? Uh, <laughs> not really. Yeah. Not too much. Trish Keen says, I was sidetracked. What all do you put in your Pico? Um, so this is <clears throat> this is a variation of my Pico. So this is onions, jalapenos, tomatoes, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and garlic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What oh, happened here? To you? <laughs> Stupid chip. Here, let me get it closer to you. Oh, it's okay. It's not spicy. These chips are not yeah, they're not great. They're not good dipping chips. Not okay. Thank you. I had four jalapenos. I don't know. Any more? No, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. It's got just a little bit of slow heat to it. Need salt? Nope. Pepper? Nope. Just fine. Garlic? Nope. Uh, no. Um. Sheila Tubbs is in the house. Okay. Oh, I had a little bit of slow heat. Yeah. <clears throat> Sneaks up on you. Mm-hmm. Hobita says, today's high here in South Texas is 83 degrees. All right. Mama's loving that. Trish says, rub it in, Hobita. <laughs> right. Mary, Mary Christopherson is in the house. It's good welcome. morning, my lovely family. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh. If I put the, I'm going to put the hamburger first. <laughs> and I know I probably should put the beans first because they'll spread easier. But I don't want the beans to scorch to the bottom. So. Yes. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. says, what? I meant the large jar container of a spice before she added the salt and pepper. What did you put in before you added the salt and pepper? It was a large jar. On what? Probably the In your pico. I bet it was, no, not in the Pico. In the Pico? In that one, it, in the avocado, it's the oh, uh, that, yeah. chicken bouillon. It's just a chicken bouillon. Um, it's really good. Phillip I like to use Desi, that other than the little squares. Yeah, Philip says, Desi probably likes to eat live out since everyone brags about Rachel's food. Oh, <laughs> I love to do that. <laughs> Julia says, Lemon is my, in my Pico, lime in my guac. And lime and salt in my Corona light. <laughs> okay, so look how that's set up. So here's my trick for spreading, getting the um, refried beans in all of the, like, because it's hard to okay. spread it, right? So. <clears throat> Hobita says, Trish, come on down to South Texas where the weather is warm and the people are friendly. She says, I'm trying, Hobita. 
Uh, Use an ice cream scoop, guys. James says garlic. Yep, there's garlic there too. All right, then you can just kind of come and smash down the, the little lumps that you made. And then it's pretty much spread through the whole thing. You might need some help here, like a little spoon. Ray says, what is a good drink to have with tostadas? Not talking just alcohol. How about dessert? So what kind of dessert or what kind of dessert drink? Oh, now she's going to put a twist on it. Because dessert drink, you know, you can do daiquiris. and The big jar used in the pico. The big jar used in the pico was the garlic. Yeah. So that was just <clears throat> garlic powder. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> that was just garlic powder. All right, so see? Instead of trying to spread those beans on by using an ice cream scoop and then dropping them and then mashing them, you've pretty much got it spread. So just a quick tip, like trick there. Hobita this is Ray. Being from the South, I prefer sweet tea. And for dessert, we usually have ice cream. And Jesse says a good drink would be horchata. James Hall says, yes, Jesse. <laughs> All right, guys, I have my oven preheating to, um, I mean, it's at 350. So I'm going to put this cheese on here, and I'm going to put this in the oven. Uh, and then we'll wait to put the cold toppings on top. I think my pan's going to be too shallow. I made too much, I made too much meat and beans. Uh, Hope this is, I'm going to be completely honest. I cannot stand what shot that loud. that loud. <laughs> Oh, really? I, I'm not real big on it, but, um, you know, but yeah, horchata's good. Uh, let's see, what to drink? Uh, a good cold beer is good, or a good cold pop, like an ice cold root beer. Oh my gosh, something ice cold. Uh, I'm going to move you guys. Um, Jay says, I found when I wet the back of the spoon smashing down beans in a dish. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. So, um... Let's look. Jesse says authentic or horchata drink recipe. All right. That's at 350. We're going to let that. We are going to let that. Okay. I'm pull, pulling you back over. James Hall says mango smoothie. That sounds really good. We are going to let that melt while we start making our chicken dip. What time is it? Am I running? 1028. It's been an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make this other one while we're waiting on that. Because we have to wait on that anyway. And then we'll add all of our cold uh, toppings. So our cold toppings will be the uh, avocado, the... Oh, Rachel um, says, keep going, Rachel. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep going. Philip says, love a good old root beer here. Oh, Yeah. You know, and there, there for a while I didn't like root beer because I was like, you know, that kind of tastes like licorice to me. But I don't know. I got onto a kick of um, of vanilla cream root beer from from Sonic, which tastes just like a root beer float. Oh yeah, I got a, on a kick of that, and now I'm just like, oh yeah, give me a root beer. Jay says Sorry, dessert guys, depends on the heat of the meal. Ice cream flan or tres leches cake with coffee <clears throat> or good wine. I'm going to be honest. Yes, coffee, always coffee with your dessert at night. Um, it's the Mexican way. And um, I'm going to be real honest. I don't like flan. I don't like the texture of flan. And it's it's kind of like a creamy jello. And I just um, kind of lose me in that. Mr. But, Mrs. Walter Job Jr. said, what about a hibiscus tea? Ooh, hibiscus tea sounds amazing. I think that's a great idea. So what do they call hibiscus in Spanish? Um, hibiscus. No, remember we were watching that thing the other day and they were like, what's a word that you only know in Spanish that you don't know in English? And they said, I never knew. And now I can't think of it in Spanish. It was hibiscus. Hi, hi. Somebody quick, Google it. What's hibiscus in Spanish? It starts with a J. Um, all I can think of is jicama, and that's not what I'm trying to think of. 
I'll read this is Rachel. I do not like tres leches and I do not like flan. Yeah. So tres leches, it's a little soggy um, cake, but um, yeah, those are good. Those are good Mexican desserts, though. Yes. David Dammer says sarsaparilla and sassafras. Yes. Or oh, sopapillas. You can't go wrong with sopapillas as a dessert Christy. with honey or chocolate syrup. Oh, yeah. Christy Betts says, I'm not. Uh, I'm not crazy about the texture of custards. Oh, the cheesecake um, chimichangas. <laughs> it's like fried cheesecake. Yeah, you can mm. do that. Those are good. Jesse says, oh, Rachel, you don't like flan? We may have to revoke your Mexican-American. I star. know. I'm so sorry. Just eat your flan. <laughs> That's from the movie uh, Real Women Have Curds. Jesse curds. says, Jamaica. J A M A I C A. Hamaka. Hamaka. I don't know. Hamaka. Yeah. I'm like, what? Ah! <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. For the. Now I'm making chicken, bacon, ranch dip. So I am doing a package of cream cheese. Well, this is we're watered down Mexicans. What can we say? That's right. <laughs> you know, we got spoiled with the American desserts. And let me tell you, American desserts are way sweeter than Mexican desserts. I mean, I say that, not all, but even like the candy. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Shiloh says, My husband really likes the tres leches because it's not the overly gritty sweet like other cakes with frosting. All right, I pre-did this, you guys, and if y'all want to see how to do, I think I've done some videos on this, but um, uh, this, these are two ancho chilies that I toasted on my comal, right? I toasted them, and then when you get done toasting them, you put them in a plastic bag and you let them sweat. See how it's dripping? It's sweating. So the reason you do that is because that's how you peel them. So now all the peels will just fall right off. See. Miss Jace says we'd love to try the two sarsaparilla or sassafras. So uh, there you go. It's just falling off and that's that's your green chilies. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna go ahead and peel these and chop them up. Um Trish Keen says I'm very texture oriented when it comes to food. Yeah I I am some like the um Oh, we just American foods are so good. <laughs> I know we kind of we kind of got spoiled in that uh, in that sense. We're watered down, so we're like, <clears throat> I'm afraid. Listen, I've never even been to Mexico. I mean, not even to to just right over the border. I have never been to Mexico, so I'm very watered down. Heartland with Dink and Tank says, "Give me a fruit pie or cobbler any day." Oh yes. She then she says, "Yum." You're making me hungry. I thought she was going to say, give me a ticket to an aeroplane. <laughs> I'm going to play the Wheel of Fortune game. Quick, who sang that? Spin the wheel again. Spin the wheel again. Corbita says, it's true, Elaine. We are more American than Mexican. But, hey, we speak Spanish and we know all the words to the cucaracha. <laughs> I mean, we even know the other variations of the cucaracha. Um in the in the words of the great um, Abraham Quintanilla, when you're Mexican American, you gotta be better than the Mexicans, and you gotta be better than the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't mastered either one. <laughs> Whatever. Christy Betts says, "Hey, growing up, I didn't like everything in Southern cooking, so seems like it would be that way in other cultures too." Right. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Philip says, Jovita, you're not watered down. You're American with the legacy from Mexico. Oh, look at that. That's at beautiful. That. Uh, Heartland with HQ at Dinka Tanks says, they love most all foods. That's us. Yep. Yep. Definitely. James so says, I just, I've been to Tijuana. Me too. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't show you guys that. I'll show you on the next one. Here, let me let me come down. Elaine Buchka says, it's okay. Whatever you all are, I love you all like family. Oh. You are awesome. So I peeled that one. If you have, um, Miss <laughs> J says cheesecake. Hobita says we love you, Elaine. Yes, we love you, Elaine. Uh, Mrs. Job says, can pasilla peppers 
be used in place of ancho peppers or are they really the same pepper just different names um <clears throat> ancho peppers so these are poblanos okay so anchos are just dried uh poblanos or smoked i think they're just dried poblanos mm -hmm. right and then uh you can use whichever kind of pepper um <clears throat> some peppers are spicier than others like the um poblano peppers they're going to have a little bit more heat than say an an anaheim pepper um which is kind of those dried or like the california chilies or the um new mexico chilies okay did you guys see that i still didn't explain it i just pulled that whole thing boop, right out of there and then i cut it open or just pulled it open and then I just peel it. Provita says, Cumbia Kings. Cumbia Kings. Jay says, I think it all depends on where you're from or who you learn from. Exactly. So my mom is, she learned uh, Tex Mex. Um, and so she taught me Tex Mex. And so you guys talk about uh, textures uh, with food, I, I, textures on my hands. It is the craziest thing. I, I can butcher, I can clean i can cook i can do all of the things but the second my hands are not busy i have to wash them like it's it's not it doesn't really i want to say it doesn't gross me out but i mean it kind of does like i'm like oh okay like these little like these little skins that are sticking to my hands i'm like okay okay Tamara just says, you're the up. best rachel oh you're the best thank you so much where did Desiree, Desiree go? She went out to feed. She said, have you fed yet? And I said, no, she said, I'm going to go out and feed for you. Oh, she's so okay. awesome. You guys, Desi is like the best kid. Um, <clears throat> it's not all roses. We all, we have our ups and downs. And <clears throat> if anybody ever tells you that adoption is easy, you can look at them in the face and tell them they're a damn liar. But um, it is hard <clears throat> to learn to live with somebody. And, and we all know this just from, you know, living with people, rather it's roommates or, um, getting married or <clears throat> just living with your significant other, it is hard. And it, and it speaks the same when you are adopting an older child and then you add their past to that and yes. their past is usually not the greatest. So um, we've had our ups and downs, but all in all, that kid. She's amazing. She's golden. She is yes. a golden kid. I love her so much. Okay. Jovita says the chili pekin is so small yet extremely hot. Yes, I love, Philip says, I love good cheesecake with strawberries on top. Ooh, strawberry cheesecake. Okay, so now what I did is I rolled up these, I put, I stacked them on top of each other, and then I'm going to roll them up, and then I'm just going to cut little strips. Um, Christy Betts says, cook it in a small toaster. Oh, she made cobbler. She cooked in a small toaster oven powered by a generator. And then I turned it. Yeah. And Vicky Hyde said, but she ate it all. She ate half yesterday and just finished the other half. So nobody else can come over and have oh. with her. <laughs> Nobody can have any. You can't have any. Yeah. Vicky says, it's okay, Rachel. We love the water, watered down Mexican in you. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Thank Mrs. you. Mrs. Job says, thank Ooh, you, Poblanos. I, I was thinking, Pasilla. Laugh out loud. Yeah, no, I, I get you. So Poblano peppers and uh, Anheims. I also recently found out, and I know this sounds silly to say it out loud, but, you know, I've always been real with you guys. Uh, what are they called? Chipotle peppers are just smoked jalapeno peppers. Yes. And I know how to make the adobo sauce. So I buy the cans of Chipotle in adobo sauce. And I told Rusty, this summer, we're making our own. We're going to be canning that stuff. Mm. Okay, so now you have a chopped green chili. And because it's fresh, it's going to have so much more flavor than the little cans that you have. But if all you have is a can, put the can in there. It's fine. Yes. Tamara says, making skits or biscuits and gravy now. Brunch. You're making me hungry. It's what yeah. I got. Would rather get Rachel's for brunch. Oh, man. Hovita says, my mother cooked Tex-Mex, and she taught me the same way. Although I really enjoy cooking for my cousin David and I twice a week. That is so I think that that's so awesome. awesome of you. Christy. So ranch ranch. Yep. Mix. Christy Betts says love biscuits and gravy. Mrs. Job says so as a quick recap in the mixing mixing bowl is sour cream and softened cream cheese. Yes. And now there is uh 
green chilies of your of your liking. If you want Patty to do your own or if you want a can, if you want poblanos, if you want um, and hot, whatever. Okay. So yes. And then uh, ranch dressing. And then I'm going to mix that together. Patty Price says, was afraid I was going, wasn't going to make it. Well, welcome, welcome. You made it. James Hall says, I'm not it. Mexican, but I cook some good Mexican food. That's awesome. That yes. is so awesome. That's kind of how Rusty is. He's not Mexican, but he can throw down. So that is awesome. Christy says, you really had a busy one this past year. Yeah, let's see. Man, I tell you, I'm we're so excited to get the garden started and mm. everything. So, uh, yeah, all of that's all of that is coming. <clears throat> Cheryl says, "How did you meet Desi?" Um, so uh, I, I can give you guys like the the quick version of it, uh, but if you really want to see that journey, there is a video called "Our Our Adoption Journey" on our Robertson's Belly Acres page, and it really goes in depth. But uh, the short of it is, is I worked at the group home that De uh, was living. In. And so that's how I met Desi. That's how I fell in love with Desi. And then uh, Rusty met her, you know, on all of the outings and things like the, um, you know, different things. And so uh, choir concerts, things like that, that we supported. And uh, he also fell in love with Desi and the rest is history. So, yes. Well, we just says, Rusty is Mexican. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm I'm going to interrupt this scheduled program right here because i got to pull that out of the oven. So I'm going to move you all closer to Rusty. He doesn't stink this morning. So yeah, I had a shower should, last yeah, week. It, last week. <laughs> James Hall says, if you want to add another layer to your dip, soften cream cheese in the bottom of your baking dish. Oh, good idea. Uh, but we just says, Tamara, are you, absolute, you are absolutely amazing. Yes, Tamara is absolutely. Right. Cheryl says so sweet. Okay, so here we go. Doop. Okay, I pulled that out. I'm gonna leave it so it can cool a little bit before I start adding all of the stuff and it gets all soggy. Okay, I made some bacon this morning. Sorry, guys. Uh, in the oven, I just make it in the oven and then I chopped it up. And so we're going to need some help. You want to hold that? Oh, absolutely. Don't eat it. Okay, so Did you hear that? bacon. I'm going to throw some bacon in there. I'm eating this piece right here if it comes off. If it comes off. Yeah. I have some canned chicken that my good friend Michelle canned and gave to us. And so I'm so excited. Uh, I want to start canning chicken as well. So then that way, when I need chicken, I've got it right here. I'm going to go ahead and drain this a little bit. Philip Ryder says, wow, that's a major process to make dip. Um, so I'm making two separate kinds. Uh, but yes, uh, the layer dip is really just. And James says, oh, and you can't forget the black olives. Yes, I've got black olives. <laughs> and I have sour cream. And this one is, like I said, the uh, chicken bacon ranch. Get that all Christy Betts says, lick it. Laugh out loud. That might be a lot of chicken. Uh, Julie Highstand is in the house. She's high from snowy Utah. I'm freezing. You're freezing. Hobita says, I love black olives. I love them in, in something, in food, in dips, or on pizza. I can't eat, just eat black olives. I don't like them that way. That being said, I love green olives. I'll set me a whole jar of green olives. And Rachel's the opposite. She'll have green olives in something, but she can just eat black olives. So, right. Um, or we just love black olives. Vicky says, "I just want to adopt all of you guys." That's awesome. But we just says, "Julie, I'm sending you buckets and buckets of sunshine from South Texas." Aww. All Philip's right. not a fan of any olive. No olives, huh? Nope. Miss J says, nope on all olives. Elaine says, I love black olives too. Whoop. Okay. Let me try to get this all off of here. I should have put the paddle on here instead of the uh, whisk because then the chicken gets all crammed in there. Robita says, I love all olives. 
Julie Heist then says, Ovita, I'll take it. <laughs> She'll take all that buckets and buckets of sunshine. Oh, man, I'm telling you. I am solar powered, so I am not looking forward to the next few days. Man, mm -hmm. I got that really tangled up in there, but it's because I used the whisk instead of the... Instead of the beater? Yeah, instead of the... Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. It's no bueno. It's no bueno. All right. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. says, I'm with Rachel on the olives. <laughs> going to sorry guys that phone was ringing dump it in here uh elaine buchka says thumbs up you all for rachel's hard work and good food Woohoo! thank you so much all right i think i mixed that Chicken too much. I kind of got. Oops, That's gonna be your mom. Sorry, yeah. She called a while ago. I hung up on Rusty's mom. Sorry, Donna. I'm in the middle of a live. Hello. Okay. Then we are going to take cheese, and we are going to put cheese on top of this. All right. Okay, you guys. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven and we're gonna start assembling that um, layer dip, okay? This dip is done. It's, yeah, it's done, yeah. Walk sounds great. Did, did you apologize for me? Yes. Okay. Oh, I just didn't think I went through. Oh. <laughs> uh, All right. Let me clean up my mess. This is hot. Don't touch it. Okay, oh, we just says, Rachel's always putting the eats on the table. Trish says, I'm on, on my way and I'm hungry. Come on, Trish. Come on, Trish. Vicky oh, says, I like the black olives, don't like the green olives. I'm going to throw all of this over here. Well, Julie says, I'll give a bad voice texting. Huh? <laughs> she, Julie was trying to talk to Hovita, but her voice texting wasn't working right. Oh, no. Ray says, it would be great to go along with you if you ever decide to visit Mexico. Any relatives living there? Um, <clears throat> I'm sure there are, but uh, none that I know. Like, so, my... My dad was a uh, nomad, <laughs> like he didn't stick in one place for too long. And so my parents were migrant workers. And so when I, when I grew up, I didn't grow up around any cousins or aunts or uncles or anything. I didn't know anyone till I was well into my teens. So um, <clears throat> I don't really know a whole lot about my people, I guess. But um, so... I, I've done some genealogy and I was doing genealogy before, but um, <clears throat> I need to do some more and then dig up my people, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> Camera says, good groceries, as David would say. Good groceries. So this is cooled down a little bit. Mm. So uh, I'm going to leave off the layer of cream, of cream, sour cream. Normally we do a layer of sour cream on the very, very top. But I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that off because I've got this and my pan isn't deep enough because I used too much meat and beans. Isn't that a shame? Yeah, Julie, stick with us. You're all good. Monica says, I heard cheese. My ears perked up. Laugh out loud. Yes. Okay, here. Can you guys see this? Philip says, I've missed on why mama is not there with you all. I miss her beautiful soul and laughter. She is visiting Rachel's sister in South Texas down by Corpus Christi. I want to spend some time with her during the cold months up here. Yes. So mama's coming back in March. Um, so we are excited for my mama mm -hmm. to come back. But we are excited for her to be down there with my sister as well, yes. uh, getting to visit. Well, we just says, Ray, I have only been to 
Matamoroso twice in my whole life. Uh, Mrs. Job says, what kind of cheese is that, cheddar and? It's a uh, taco blend. So it is. <clears throat> and Julie says, I'm not going anywhere. Fiesta blend cheese. Okay. Covita says, Philip, Mama's here with us in South Texas because of our warm weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is. She Troy is enjoying Sutton it. Troy Sutton is in the house. Okay. Hey there, y'all. Shout out from West Virginia. Welcome, welcome. I didn't put the Pico in there. Me. Guess I can put it on top. top. And we'll do another layer of that. Nobody says what order it's got to be in. Well, I know, but then those black olives are supposed to be all pretty on the top. Oh, well, that's true. Monica says, I love both olives. Um, we'll do it this way. Listen. James Hall says, fried potatoes, one pound of sausage, six eggs. Who's coming for breakfast? Ooh, we Have all you are. I got six eggs. I'm going to stay home because I'll eat them all. Yeah, Rusty eats like. I eat four to six eggs every time we eat eggs. <laughs> Which is good because our chickens are light. Tara Doster's in the house. Says, this all looks great for diabetics, which I am also. Yes. yes. The, everything that's here is diabetic friendly. Yes. Except for the chips that we're going to eat mountains of here in a little bit. Okay. Then I am going to go ahead and do my cream cheese or sour cream on top. Philip says, Jovita, tell her I said hello. She says, James, get the tortillas ready. Philip. If I ever run into her, I most certainly will. <laughs> I need to just uh, give my sister your number, Hobita, and then maybe you could meet up or something. Yeah, because be awesome. Mama said, Mom said, I told her, and she said, that would be so cool. She said, but I wouldn't know her because I don't know her. And she, I said, oh, she'd know you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Rambling Peaches, I need to be with Mama. <laughs> I know. Hobita says, yes, Monica. He has been my friend for 23 years now. I've allowed he was 16 when I met him at work. Uh, I miss that. All right. We're going to try this hack. Oh, hello, Hobita. I know you're from Jared. So Jared and Hobita met at work. Nice. That's cool. I did not know that. I did not either. So I'm using whose hack was that? Wet your... Wet your spoon for the that beans. That was Julia, I think. So I'm wetting my spatula for the... Um... Windy B is in the house. Says, Rusty, with all that awesome food, how do you keep the blood sugars regulated? I don't. Insulin. I use lots of insulin. Yeah, and listen, I have got I, to get better. We have been doing a lot better this last two weeks. Yes. So I've talked about going back on keto and fixing us uh, keto. Uh, so then that way it'll be better for Rusty because I want Rusty to be healthy. Mrs. Job says, okay, thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. Uh, James says, that's for tacos, Rusty. That's for whatever I want. <laughs> okay, let me get a bowl so I can... Julie says, Rusty, you can have my eggs. Yucky. Oh, I'll eat them. All right, here we go. Rita says, yes, Rachel. Hello. I can meet them in Kingsville. Yeah, they're in Kingsville almost every day. Yeah, just about. If not every day. Uh, you can also put green onions on this. I don't have any green onions. I usually put green onions at the top. Actually, my Egyptian walk-in onions are sprouting right now outside, and so are my chives. And you yes. can put chives on top of this, too. Rich, uh, Ed says, Rusty, I'm trying to figure out how you're not 500 pounds with Rachel's cooking. <laughs> moderation. <sighs> have to eat in moderation. I can only eat so much. All right. Hobita says, Monica, he was a very serious young man, meticulous and hardworking. We get along, got along instantly, and we have been friends ever since. That's awesome. So, that is awesome. So, this is just a variation of a layer dip. Nor, I mean, normally I would have, like, um, uh, guac. But, you guys, this is heavy. And can you guys see all the layers in there? Here in a minute, we'll cut it, and so you guys can see that. And then, let me grab that. Other dip, and we're about done, y'all. Finally, right? Finally. Rusty said, can you do all that an hour? Sure. I mean, my kind of hour, right? Yeah. Hour on my time. Phillips says, I love eggs, too, especially from a farm. My grandma. Oh, that's still cooking. My grandma Nipper had chickens. Yes, we've got chickens, and 
we're we're collecting about a dozen eggs a day so that fits right in because we'll we get up in the mornings and have breakfast and rachel makes anywhere from what five to seven eggs yeah <clears throat> and she takes her a little bit desi takes her a little bit and i get the rest <laughs> desi eats quite a bit of eggs yeah. too though so well, she's not a real big she doesn't eat a lot of breakfast early mm. in the morning she'll eat but she doesn't eat a lot of uh, All right, and then we also have Pico. Oh, I had this adobo. Julie says, Rachel, your hair is beautiful today. So oh. is Rusty's. Ha uh ha. -huh. Why, you. thank you. <laughs> um, let's see. Might as well use oh, this says, Monica, thank you so much for supporting. It really means a lot to him. I just know it. Yes. Elaine says, everything looks so yummy, and I love eggs, too. Cheryl Guest says, I've not watched Jason since his and Jared's blow up. Yeah, we... Uh, we eat a lot of eggs. Yes. And we cook with a lot of eggs. So it works out really good. But I also am trying to start selling the eggs. Because like I say, we're getting about seven, eight dozen a week. So we're just trying to trying to make it happen. James Hall says, I have sriracha, tapatio, and cholula on the top to top the tacos. Hey, sign me up, bro. Yeah, that sounds good. <coughs> that we, sounds really spicy. Sounds spicy, but it sounds very, very good. Very, very good. Very good, very good, man. Very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, Monica says, well, we to my pleasure. <coughs> I love good, honest, down-to-earth people. Yes, we do, too. All right, and then I'm going to get... What are you looking for? We actually have extra... Covita oh, says, I love Cholula yeah, with its iconic wooden cap. Vicky says, Rusty works too hard on the homestead to be 500 pounds. Well, that's very true. He is a hard worker. Oh, thank you. I, I feel like I, I do my best. Yes, he is amazing, you guys. I would be so lost without him. For shizzle. Philip says, love you too. It's beautiful laughter. It makes me smile all the time. Ah. James says, sounds very yummy, James. Elaine says, I wish I could have chickens. 350 for 18, 18 eggs the other day. Oh, wow. And right now, we're selling farm fresh for... For 18. Yeah, $4 for eight. For farm fresh. For farm fresh, too, yeah. Uh, what did I do with my... What are you looking for? Goldie. Yeah. Oh, Rusty is a beast at working. He is has a good attitude and always knows what knows what to do no matter what the task is. That's right. I don't know about all that. I do a lot of winging it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we make it. We make it happen. That's all that matters. Rusty's the bomb. He can figure it out. A lot of those things out there, I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna do. And he's like, This is what we're gonna do. Christy says, my few hens are hiding their eggs right now. Uh-oh. Sounds like you might have one going broody then, Christy. Trish Keen says, I like eggs, but they don't like me. I like bread oh, just says, Did Rusty just say rag in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> yep. The <Show> toallita. <laughs> the toallita. <laughs> Dad says, Robita, I know that's right. I had the pleasure of going, getting to work with him last year. Yes, Ed came up and helped us out, and that was awesome to have all the help that day. Right, yes. Robita I'm, says, I'm telling you, he is Mexican, and that's it. <laughs> so, if, Robita, if you and Rachel are watered down Mexican, does that mean I'm muddied down white? Getting that dark, darker side in me? <laughs> I guess so, huh? Uh, James says, got Jack, Jack cheese, pepper jack, smoked cheddar, and cheddar. What's your favorite? All of there is that. That looks amazing. Chicken bacon ranch with green chilies. Cheryl says, well, the wing, it works. <laughs> you dun, guys, dun, dun. we're done. So we've got dips for a Super Bowl Sunday that probably won't last till tomorrow. Probably not. But we're going to try it. Y'all want to try it? Let's try it. Christy says. Uh, I'm going to move y'all. Uh, Jay says, a lot of things in life are flying by the seat of your pants. Absolutely. Christy says, 
maybe we're in a warm spell and they may be thinking motherhood, right? Monica says, Miss, miss fresh eggs from my childhood. Let me think of something. Farm fresh milk, too. I miss farm life. Julie says, I have 13 grand chickens. Grand so chickens. I asked my daughter for eggs. <laughs> Not, oh, you don't need one for that. Okay, guys. Let's start with the seven. It's not seven layers. Let's start with the layer dip because I don't know how many layers. Let's are start there. with the 27 layer dip. Yeah. Okay. Zoom in here. Here we go. Phillips you don't says, want the olives, right? No, I, I, I like the olives on it. Desi, we're tasting, honey. No, oh, shoot. Okay. She's Phillips little... says, wing it with prayer. Right, right, Rusty? Laugh out loud. Was a U.S. Navy CB new construction? I wanted yes. to go into the CBs when I went to the Navy, but. At that time, there was a three-year waiting list, and I didn't want to wait. I didn't trust those um, chips to break into all of that. Look at that. Oh, Mita says, no, you're watered you're down to Mexican, to too. Big oh, mouth. Big hello. mouth. Oh, not a problem for me. Okay. Desi, you have to have a big mouth for this one, okay? Because it's a lot of layers. Oh, Mita says, it looks oh, bomb girl, digging. you got a big mouth, let me tell you. <laughs> You'd be just oh, fine. Monica says, looks amazing. Oh, I threw <laughs> Oh, boy. I tried to catch it, love. You okay? Here. There's your sheep. So let's uh, try this. Here we go. Ready? Salud. That's so hard. I just dumped it all over my hand. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I tripped over y'all. Mm -hmm. That is bomb. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is messy. Messy, messy. Cameron says farm fresh is best. Cheryl says I think Chiefs will win by three. Carol, Chiefs by three, huh? Carol from the Rambling Peaches. I get about a dozen eggs a day also from 14 hens. One is setting now. That's what we have is 14, and we've got one trying to set. Um, Christy said I was Navy wife 16 years. Vicki Heights said, okay, just need closer to guys, so... And I can have all the good food and good friends. Absolutely, Vicky. Tara Doster says, I'm full as a tick, and that still looks delicious. This is hot, hot. I mean, like, not spicy hot, but hot. As in... Oven hot. Is that too much on there? No. On that chip? Okay. I didn't put quite as much. Okay. Thank you. Julie says, yummy. Okay, this is chicken bacon ranch with green chilies. Y'all ready? Salud. Yeah, salud. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good, too. I think I need another. Shiloh says, I've always ate the layer dips like nachos. Chips on the plate and then add the dip on top. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's definitely what we'll do. Vicky says, move closer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the cool thing is, in making the dips, we have two extra dips. Karen Laura's in the house. Didn't, they didn't fit in the layers. She says, "I'm sitting here drooling." <laughs> oh yes. And these are just what in the layer dip. Salute. Sorry, my mouth was closer. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Philip says, that's it. That is it. That's it. Not going to last until tomorrow. Laugh out loud. Mm -mm. Christy says, I eat chili on top of tortilla chips with cheese and sour cream on top. Absolutely. Well, Cheryl well. Guest says, if I live closer to Rachel, I would visit her weekly. At dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my kids do. <laughs> Hobie says, leave some for the game, y'all. Well, I'm going to make wings tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. I, got, I bought some wings. I'm thinking about making some wings. and 
maybe do a pizza or something. Karen says, I'm in Bristol, Virginia, near the racetrack. Hmm. That needs more salt, doesn't it? That's all lemon. I could use a little salt, but mm. I mean, not much. That a bomb. Mm -hmm. You guys, you know it's good when it makes good dish. Lunch is served. Stand up and clap. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. All right, are we caught up on the chat? Trish says, I'll say that's mine, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if Trish lived closer, we'd be rolling around in the yard for food every I day. Know. <laughs> I'd make enough for both of you, I promise. Covita says, I'm going to hitch a ride with Mama. Come on, girlfriend. Come on, Covita. Then you can come and hang out with us for the spring and summer. There See? you go. Where it's, nice, where it's a lot cooler. Yeah, it's not 120,000 degrees. Phillips says, love you all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And Julie says, I have wings in the freezer. Don't know how to cook them. Hmm. I can tell you how to cook them. It's real easy if you got just a bag of wings. That's enough. Put them easy, evenly on a cookie sheet. And get to some whatever sauce you want, or if you want uh, ranch or whatever, just coat them, put them in the oven, and bake them. I do them a little bit different. I dredge them just for that little bit of crisp. So put them in some flour, <clears throat> and then and then put your seasonings or whatever, but whichever way. Yeah. If you want that little bit of crisp. Oh, we just says put them in the oven. Yep, <laughs> in the oven, and then you can either. Do dry rub on them, and they're just, they're a lot like uh, ribs. You can mm -hmm. do a dry rub. If you're going to do a dry rub, you want a binding agent, so something like mustard, or if you want it sweeter, do honey, or something to bind the the um, spices to it. And then if you want to do a, like a sauce, then just make sure you're um, basting it regularly, like put them in the oven, cover it up cook them for a little bit, get them out, open it, baste, do that at least three times. You want to baste at least three times if you're going to do like a sauce. Yep. James says, or you can deep fry them. Yes, you can. <laughs> Julie says, well, I'm cooking them <coughs> tomorrow. Thanks. Nice. Awesome. Tamara says, Rachel, Kezi, Rusty, everyone have an amazing day. Thank yes. you. You too. We are going to close out. I think Rusty's caught up. Yes. Thank you guys for being here, hanging out with us this morning. Yes. It was fun. I know it seems like a whole lot for one dip, but it's also just one day. So Super like, Bowl Sunday. There you go. It was one dip, but just out of the layer dip, we have three. So, I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> so, Cheryl says, "What a, we had barbecue country style ribs Thursday. They were so good. Mm, Hobita yes. says, thank you everyone for joining us today. And please continue to support the channel. Thank you, Hobita. Thank you, Hobita. Our meter press says, it looks so good. Bye, y'all. Bye, Julie says, hugs my family. Karen says, no, those wings would be getting fried then dipped in ranch. Yummy. Ooh, yeah. Christy says, food looks delicious. Thanks, you guys. See you guys next week. Yay. Bye.